and welcome to Heidi's Homemade Quilts and more. I'm Heidi. Hello. Today I actually have some quilt related stuff. Yay. Um, that doesn't happen very much since I don't technically live anywhere. <laughs> um, but I did actually get an order for a quilt. Um, I used to, before I started my current job, I used to make quilts to order. Um, I did a lot of them. Um, but with traveling, I had to stop doing that. So I did actually get an order. Um, and this is actually for my uncle. Um, he wants uh, a queen's, well, a full size quilt. So it's going to be a queen size quilt. Um, so I'm like, okay, since it's for you, I'll go ahead and do it. It's just going to take some time because, you know, my schedule is kind of weird. And with all the stuff going on in the world, there's a lot of delays involved with being able to produce a full quilt. Okay. But I ordered some stuff online. So I'm super excited that I was able to actually find some stuff that I liked. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what I got for fabric. Okay. And keep in mind, I had no idea what I was going to do with this fabric. I just knew it was going to be a quilt. So he has, he told me that he painted his bedroom a dark green. Okay. And he said that the woodwork in the bedroom is all dark. Okay. I wanted to stay away from floral -y kind of stuff. So I went with more of a solid kind of tone. Okay. So what I found was this. So what I did, my dad said when he saw this, he said that his room is kind of this kind of a green here. Sirius, get down. Sirius just got back from the groomers. Um, since he has not seen the groomers for a while, he is looking a little bit um, different. Come here, Sirius. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. No? All right, he doesn't want to come at the moment. <laughs> but um, I basically had him shaved. <laughs> um, he went from having long, shaggy hair to having no hair. <laughs> well, I mean, he's not completely like skin, but he looks so much different. He looks like a different dog. Um, so if you see him wandering around in the background, yeah. Uh, but the groomer said that he was super well behaved today. So I was like, <laughs> well, that's amazing. Um, so what I did back to this what I did is I bought four of these because I wasn't sure what I wanted to do what kind of pattern I wanted to do and since all of my stuff is literally in storage I didn't have I don't have any patterns I don't have anything um I have my sewing machine that travels with me sometimes and like the basic necessities to put stuff together so I got four of these they are all the same okay I ordered these all from um, Missouri Star Quilt Company. Um, like it's like around Hamilton, Missouri. I actually have been to their store. Um, went down to um, Hamilton, Missouri, to see like the Mark Twain stuff, and stopped in their store. So I've actually been to their store, but I ordered that online. It came in a box. I already opened it because I wanted to show my dad what I got and so that he could give me like a good idea if I was on the right track. <laughs> um, so then the same day, I ordered three books. I ordered these from Barnes and Noble online. I had some gift cards from Christmas that I wanted to, to use for that. I still have some gift cards from Christmas because there's a lot of money on that. But <laughs> I'm like, hmm, maybe I should use those soon. So I ordered three different jelly roll type books. And I got this one. This book is the one that I have, the pattern that I'm going to do. 
and I'll flip through it here in a second, but I want to show you the pattern that I decided to make with this quilt. And this is the one that I'm going to do. I'm going to add borders to it to make it bigger because it's like a twin size and it is a square quilt. So there's that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the light color, either the light or the dark. I haven't quite decided. It's either going to be this dark brown or this light creamy color. It's going to be the little squares in between. This is entirely a entirely possible to make out of um, jelly rolls because it's all two and a half inch strips and I just lost my page. Sorry about that. Should have marked it. There it goes. So on this one, so these white squares in between, those are just two and a half inch squares. So these are two and a half inch strips by whatever here. So this actually will go together super fast once I start sewing it. So that was also a plus of using jelly rolls because it's easy to cut and easy to sew together. So that is my idea. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, if I have the, enough of the color, whatever color I use in here, whether it's the dark or the light, I want to do one single border of that around the whole thing to tie it together. And then what I want to do is either get some more of one of the other colors or something that's complementary with maybe like a very subtle pattern and do two more borders coming out from it to make it that queen size. So I, my finished product, I'm thinking, is going to be approximately 100 by 100 give or take. So that is, that project is going to be coming up here very shortly. Once I figure out um, borders maybe, I don't know. It really depends on how serious behaves and if I can sit down and actually do this stuff. Okay, so I said I would flip through. So this is Jelly Roll Quilts in a Weekend. Um, I think it's kind of funny when they say that because it never is actually just a weekend. You might be able to cut it out one weekend, piece it together in a weekend, you know, that kind of thing. Um, but to actually do the whole thing in one weekend is probably not. So I'm just going to show you some of the quilts that they have in this book. That one, very simple jelly roll quilt, just blocks. Okay. And this is by Pam and Nikki Lintot. I think I have some of their other books too. Um, this one here. It's like a stepping stone. This next one is called Skyline. This one is called Springtime in Paris. It's like, some of these appeal to me more than other ones. I like stuff that looks like it's intricate, but not necessarily takes the time to be intricate. Um, but then again, I actually like stuff with lots of little bitty pieces. Uh, that's kind of my thing is little pieces, but one, this one, and this one was called, I'm sorry, I should have said that, Sundial. And then the one that I'm going to make is called Norwegian Wood, which is that one again. This one is called Picnic Time. Which actually I thought about, but I'd have to get different fabric because I'd have to get bigger pieces to do these. This one's called Beach Time.
This one's called Wayfarer. Honeycomb. This one is called Tutti Frutti. This one I really like and I might do at some point is called Nine Patch Sunburst. That one's really pretty. It has a really good effect and I think if you had the right colors it would really, really pop it. You could definitely do that in just solids. Now this one is the one that's on the cover of the book. This is called Sprockets. There we go. And then the last pattern in here is called Circle of Friends, which I actually really like too. And it would be a great way to use up some kind of random fat quarters. All right, so that is the last pattern in the book. The other two books that I got, um, if you guys wanna see these flip through, uh, leave me a note in the comment section, but I got Smash Your Pre-Cut Stash by Kate Carlson Coloran and Elizabeth Beat Baldarella. Um, it says 13 quilts using your jelly rolls, charm squares, and fat quarters with yardage. So this one, you actually have to have quite a bit of yardage to make any one of these quilts to go along with your pre-cuts, which is what I didn't want to do. This one is Antique to Heirloom Jelly Roll Quilts, 12 Modern Quilt Patterns from Vintage Patchwork Quilt Designs. This is also by Pam and Nikki Lintot. Okay. And that's that one. This one has some really nice patterns and I love the little pieces. So I will probably do some from this one at some point in the very far future. Very far. Um, but I did actually really like some of the patterns in this. They just didn't work for what I wanted to do with this particular quilt. So, that's my project coming up. Again, I'll show you that one more time. Um, I don't know, I can't remember how much I paid for these. I wanna say it was like, they didn't give me an invoice. They just gave me a little thank you card in the box. The only thing that came in the box was literally this little thank you card. Um, it says, you know, to visit their, their store online and all that stuff. Uh, Missouri Star Quilt Company. Um, I can't remember how much. And this is called Ombre Wash Art Warm by 40 Karat Gems Wilmington Prints. WilmingtonPrints.com, and it is 100% cotton, and there's 40 strips in here. Um, I I want to say it was like 30 bucks a pack. I'm not really sure. Um, but there's that. So, if you liked this video, if you got any good information out of that, um. Give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, hit that subscribe button. But as always, thanks for watching and have a great day.